seasonal planning. What the heck is it and how do you do it in your business? Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Kristen, mom of two, artist and business owner. I love sharing what I've learned while running my custom product business over the last three years. So what the heck is seasonal planning for your business? Well, it's when you think of, sketch, or try out products many months ahead of the season they are designed for. This looks like drawing Valentine's ideas in November, or Christmas in October, or fall in July. The reality is that your next seasonal product needs to be ready to launch within a month of that season. And to make that happen, you need to be trialing that product a month or two before the launch day. In this video, you're seeing me make my fall model stickers, which means I work on these way ahead of the launch. You'll see a few clips of me trying traditional art again after years of digital only. This doesn't have to do with my fall launch, but as a business owner, you should always try new things. So let me break down my exact process for seasonal planning. Number one, I come up with the idea for the collection or launch. I started the fall idea planning in June. I was sketching concepts for custom portraits and talking about ideas with my business buddies. Number two, I fully decide on the concepts and make basic listings for models to order from. I do this in early July, asking my models or my best customers if they'd like to order early at a discount. Number three, once those orders are placed, I get started on their portraits. When finished near late July, I have items to use for my launch. Number four, I use these portraits as the listing photos, as posts to promote the launch, and examples for anyone wanting to see what's coming up. Number 5. I start the launch in early August and officially launch the products in mid-August. Number 6. The following week I start working on the launch orders, and the customers should receive their items around the beginning or middle of September, right in time for the fall season. I started the ideas in June, and the launch officially ended in mid-September, when the last few orders went out. That's a four-month launch phase, and in reality, you need to be doing this for every launch. It may seem extremely overwhelming. You'll have overlapping launch phases, especially between September and December. Here's an example. Even though I'm at the peak of launching my fall collection in mid-August, I'm already looking forward to Halloween, which I'll be launching in late September. So where do you even begin when you're trying to jump on this seasonal product planning bandwagon? Well, you should start with the biggest holiday for most of us product business owners, Christmas. Let's plan out a Christmas launch for a made-up candle shop. Your candle shop has exclusive Christmas scents that folks will want to use during the month of December, which means you need to launch the products in early November to guarantee they'll arrive in time for December 1st. This also gives you a buffer in case there are any issues along the process. Shipments could get lost, candles could arrive damaged or broken, and you may run out of product and need to make more. You want to give yourself plenty of time to deal with any issues. With that in mind, you'll be launching your candles the first week of November, so if you want to test out the scents, the product process, and the ratios, you'll need a good amount of time to do so. You should be looking into the scents in September, hopefully receiving them by the end of the month or in early October. Then you can spend the spooky month making, testing, and refining your exclusive Christmas candles. Near the end of the month, the last one or two weeks, you need to be teasing what you've been working on. You need to find promoters, if you use them, and get those candles to them as promo. And when the first week of November rolls around, you've got everything ready for the launch. 
This is a rough outline of what you should be doing to make sure you have plenty of time to create, test, and launch your products. I've seen a lot of people wait far too long to launch products for seasonal things, waiting until the very last minute and having a poor launch due to that. The main goal of starting your seasonal items this far in advance is to give you room to experiment, test, and get opinions, and then prepare for the launch, with wiggle room after the launch for shipping and any product issues that may come up. I know you can do it. I suggest starting with the big one, Christmas, if you've never done this type of preparation before. Start thinking about your Christmas launch now, even though it's ages away. I mean, if you're watching this in August when I posted it. If you're watching this at a future date, pick the next biggest holiday for your business and start planning for it months in advance. Make sure you give yourself the wiggle room you need to make everything perfect. That's all I have for you today. If you found this helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more product-based business tips. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.